Lin Chi, brush painting for beginners. Today we're going to do a subject and I think I might need um, Evan to help me with this pronunciation called Nasturtium. Nasturtium. So it's, um, it's a flower I find in our neighborhood and then um, uh, in a lot of um, fine cuisine, they also use it to decorate the salad. So I've done one in the on the single shrimp paper and one on gold flat. So they are both on single unsized shrimp paper. Um, I paint dry, so I like to use the single paper which move faster and if you have a moisture control you uh, issues as beginner i would recommend double shun or jade plate to control your moisture and um, the color i'm going to use the companion set our 12 color companion set that's all you need and then i will use uh the leaves because I use so much leaf, uh, greens so I use the uh, chunk yellow with indigo um, you are welcome to use the green in the uh, palette but if you use the green I will show you how to use it so you pick up the green and then you pick up the worker right next to it so you get this softer green. So never use the green right from the any palette. You always add ochre or yellow um, to get a softer green, more close to the nature. And then when I'm painting, I'm going to use the, the chunk yellow with indigo. And um, The rest of color, I'm just taking it directly from the palette. Um, I will use um, Karma in here with uh, a little purple. <coughs> and little black from the palette to get a really dark for the center. The brush I'm using is the, the Lotus petal brush for the, the petal of the flower. And then um, the same as the leaves. And then I also will use the small flow for the center as well as the um, stem to hold the flower. And so very simple equipment, two brushes, and the companion says some yellow and green, and we'll get started. So first I wet my lotus petal brush and I dry my brush and then I'm going to pick up some yellow some vermilion and then blend make sure I have enough color on the brush so yellow and vermilion again blend so I'm going to do the
yellow and vermilion. So I have this round shape. And then I'm going to use the flow brush and pick up the white in the palette and yellow and then make a center. And then the same Lotus Petal Brush, I still have some that um, color left from the petal. Then I'm going to um, pick up some Carmine with red and then that. So then I'm connecting and then I'm using the same brush, pick up the dark color I mix before which is carmine with purple and with black now i'm going to do the center okay and then i'm rinsing it off And then yellow again, vermilion blend. So I'm going to do the small side petal on, uh, flower on the top. Okay, and then the dark for the center. Okay, and then I'm using the my small brush, flow brush, and pick up some yeah, going for the holder of this particularly. All right, and then I'm um, rinsing my brush off. And then I'm picking some chunk yellow with pre-mixed green. So if you don't have the indigo and chunk yellow, you can use this green that I pre-mixed with the yellow in the palette. So this particularly um, leaf is a round shape. And then I'm going to use my flow brush to connect this two flower to the base of the leaves. So I have this one and I'm connecting with this and then I also from the center of this one okay and then this flower also that each flower has a pocket on the side so I'm going to show that from here Okay, and then I'm go, go also going to connect this to and then I'm going to rinse my lotus petal brush off 
do a little side flower on the side. So I'm going to use yellow and a little vermilion blend. And I'm going to do this right here. Okay. And then the same brush, rinse the yellow off, yellow vermilion off with some green. And then with the little black, I'm not using ink. So just save a little extra work. side brush to accent the black so And I finished my work for this flower and I'm going to sign my name on the side. Hey, happy painting. See you next time.